All right, well, I tried to find other videos on YouTube about how to remove Woodruff keys that are stuck. A lot of people I've found do not understand the difference between a square shank key in a keyway and a half round Woodruff key. It's an amazing thing, but anyway, nobody's had any really good um, removal videos on how to get one that's stubborn. Now, this is my little addition for my own knowledge and everyone else's because I figured out how to do this. But what I did is I have two Woodruff keys that go on this spindle shaft for this old leg. Okay? Well, the one I was able to pry out because I was able to pry it against its neighbor, which is this one right here. I was able to pull it out using a flathead screwdriver, very simple. Now the other one here, it was boogered and it was just absolutely flipping stuck. So what I did is I hit it with some PB penetrant and I hit it with a blowtorch and got it good and hot. And then I let it set and cool so that it would break its seal. And I know I got it hot enough because it started boiling started bubbling out the old oil and grease out from underneath of it, so that's one thing you want to do. Next thing I did is I had a, I found a bit counter, or a, a center bit, put it in my drill, I'm just doing this with a hand drill, started the little hole there, then uh, I had a, the smallest tap I have in the shop is an 832 course it's used in a, a number 29 tap so sorry a 29 drill that fits that tap so drilled this through tapped it 820 832 found a, uh, a sacrificial screw I put a nut on it so it would fit in the cap this is for my slide hammer screwed these two down put my slide hammer on it Gave it about three pops. You notice that it did bend the screw. But that don't matter, that's just a sacrificial piece. It's so small, it don't matter. Popped it right off. And there you go. So, if you're wondering how to remove a larger Woodruff key, and this is, this is quarter inch wide, you know, this is a pretty good size Woodruff key um, for big machinery. You can do it this way if you have, if you can't figure out any other way to do it, or if you don't have access to a mill or anything like that where you can cut the thing out, like if you're doing it out in the field. But that's my little addition to everything else, and I hope y'all guys find it find it useful at least, or at least a way that you hadn't thought about trying to do it. Well, y'all have a good one.